Hello and welcome everyone. In today's episode, we are going to explore the Material Design 3 with Flutter. Material Design is a design system that helps us in building beautiful and accessible user interfaces for multiple platforms such as mobile, web, and desktop. In Flutter, the Material Library provides Flutter developers all the building blocks that are needed for building a beautiful and accessible user interface. So in today's episode, we are going to explore some of the new features of the Material Design 3 and also to integrate them in your Flutter application. So to add the Material 3 design in your Flutter application, set the Material 3 to true in your themes constructor. Now all of the widgets that are from Material Design will have a new design that is Material Design 3. So the integration of Material Design 3 in Flutter was that easy. Now let's go and explore some of the key features of Material Design 3 that you can integrate in your Flutter application and can make your app more beautiful and accessible than ever. The first key feature of Material 3 design is dynamic colors. This allows us to apply the consistent colors across our application and the easiest way to apply these dynamic colors is to create the material 3 scheme by providing the seed color to your app's theme. Same as we did for enabling the material 3, there is a property of color seed scheme. Pass a color to that and Flutter will generate a harmonious color scheme for every widget in your app whether it's a button any kind of button, a form field, a dialog box or any widget. And this scheme works in both dark and light themes. And you can also create the color scheme for your application from this website. And best of all, you can download the scheme and can apply it easily in your application. This will basically gives you dot files of color scheme and also the main data generated files from where you can learn how to apply it in your application. The second key feature of Material Design 3 is typography. A typography naming is now more meaningful and easy to remember. And is split it into five groups that are display, headline, title, body, and label. Now in Material 3 design, now it's much easier to access and remember typography in text of different sizes because their naming convention is no more body text 1, body text 2, headline 1, headline 2, all of these are deprecated. But now it becomes more meaningful and concise like the body large, body medium, body small and the same pattern for all of the other groups like the display, label and headlines. Now if you compare the scaling of typography with the material design 2 with 3, their scaling becomes more consistent across different groups. The third key feature of material design 3 is elevation. In material design 2, we had elevations for the elevated components and the increase in elevation results in more bigger shadow of the elevated components. But in material design 3, it introduced a new property that is surface tint color. This property when applied to the elevated components, their surface gets this color and the intensity of this color depends upon the value of the elevation. We are going to see the example of the elevation in a moment but let's understand one more thing. That is you might ask how the surface tint color is useful. So the surface tint color property is useful for the elevated components when there is no shadow applied. So when there is no shadow applied for the elevated components, the surface tint color still help us to see the component visible on the UI. So that is why the surface tint color property is useful. So now let's go to the code and see the practical example of the surface tint color. So we have this simple application where we have a card in the center of the scaffold and a text written card in the center of that card. And in our app theme constructor, we have the scheme seed set it to this color. And just by having this color scheme seed, the Flutter has generated the harmonious colors for every widget in our application. Like currently the color that is applied on this card is the secondary container color from the color scheme. And you can access these colors from the theme start of context color scheme and you will find all of the colors in here like the primary color, secondary color, tertiary color and also the neutral color. So now let's go to the example of surface tint color example app where we have a simple stateless widget, a scaffold, a column and a very simple card with the width and height of 300 and an insert text of card. So before going forward and testing how the surface tint color helps us in still seeing the UI component visible on the screen even there is no shadow applied. There is one more thing that you need to keep in mind that is the surface tint color will not work in the material design too. 
like when the flag that we have in the theme constructor the use material design 3 is false so the surface tint color will not work at all and the surface tint color is that color you can see that is currently applied on the card but in material design 2 we don't have this color on any elevated component but in material design 3 we have this surface tint color applied on the elevated components of the ui so as we discussed the intensity of the surface tint color depends upon the elevation value so if we increase the elevation value to 4 and the elevation increase you can see the intensity of the surface tint color on the card also increases a little bit so now let's see how the surface tint color helps us to still see the widget even there is no shadow applied so let's remove this elevation from here and let's set the shadow color to color start transparent to remove the shadows from here now if we control s to hot reload the shadows are disappeared and you can see the surface tint color is still here and let us know that the card is taking that much width and height so that is the beauty of the surface tint color in the material design 3 and you can manipulate the surface tint color with using the property of surface tint color let's say i set it to colors dot green so the surface tint color will override the default color of the card or any elevated widget and that surface tint color will be applied now ctrl s to hot reload and you can see we got the green surface tint color for our card but do you want to see the magic let's go to the mandar dart and false this use material design 3 false and we see no card on the ui so as i told you this surface tint color will only work in the material design 3 but it will not work in the material design 2 so that was for the elevation now the final key feature of the material design 3 is shapes so in material design 3 we have a wide range of shapes for the components this includes square rounded and rounded rectangular in material design 2 we had the floating action button circle but now in material design 3 we have the rounded rectangular shape for this floating action button and also for the other buttons they are changed from the rounded rectangular to a pill shape and also some other widgets like the the dialog box bottom model sheet and the cards are become more rounded as compared to the material design 2 which looks really beautiful and give a feel of an accessible user interface so now let's also see the example of how the shapes are transformed from material design 2 to 3 so currently the app you are seeing on the screen we have the use material 3 false and these are the fill buttons the fill tunnel and the fill button and these are the disable button for them this is a form widget and this is the hello text button when i click and see the effect of this you can see its shape is currently the rounded rectangular and also the elevated is rounded rectangular and the card is also rounded rectangular and the floating action button is circled now if we change the material design 2 to 3 by setting this use material design 3 to true you can see we got this beautiful ui the hello text button is transformed from the rounded rectangular to pill shape and also the elevated button is transformed from the rounded rectangular to a pill shape button and also for the floating action button it's transformed or changed from the circle to a rounded rectangular or you can also say the round square and the other widgets like the bottom model sheet and the dialog box got more rounded corners like if i click this hello text button you can see the dialog box has these rounded corners and also to click the elevator button we have the bottom model sheet with the rounded corners and in the material design 2 let's false this we had this dialog box and this bottom model sheet with no rounded corners so that was about the shapes that how shapes are transformed in material design 3. So the things that we have discussed was some of the key features of material design 3 from this website that we are currently on. From here you can explore more about the material design 3 that how the components are transformed and changed in the material design 3 system. And you can switch between the themes like let's switch to material design 2 and we have the components like this. You can see a circled floating action button and if we change from material design 2 to 3 we got this rounded 
rectangular or the squared rounded and also the other widgets so you will find the link of this website in the video description and surely you can explore this that how the components are transformed in the material design 3 and how they can make our applications in flutter more beautiful and accessible so that's all about the material design 3 you can explore more new things and designs in the material design 3 official site and you will also find the link of this official site in the video description now it's upon you to inspire the people with the material design 3 beautiful and accessible user interface that's all and i will see you in the next video